to another edition of What Dads Do, where we're replacing an original double hung window on our 100 year old house. I was pleasantly surprised to find a stud on both sides of this window, which has not usually been the case as we've been replacing windows on the house. But there was still no header. And no framing sill. In order to get into the framing, I'm going to have to remove some clabbered here and up above. First, I'll loosen up those 100 year old nails. Then I'll slip the flat bar up underneath the nail and pry gently. Sometimes I'll have to wedge the flat bar against the nail and hit the board in order to loosen it up. So here's my plan of attack. This opening right here is just about the size of the rough opening should be. Of course there's no sill and no header. So I'm going to start by putting in a sill down here and then I'll use that as a basis to determine the height of my rough opening. The horizontal placement of my new window is going to be somewhat restricted by the existing studs, but I'm going to do my best to center it. My daughter always likes to help by holding the tape. Halfway across the house is 89 inches. Next, I'll use my cat's paw to remove these nails from this piece of sheathing, and then I'll cut it out with a sawzall. Don't forget to loosen those nails first. I know that this rough cut 2x4 is exactly 2 inches wide. By going about an inch over and marking a line, I know that I can cut down through here and still have something to nail the sheathing back onto later on. Now I've got to clean out this old cellulose insulation. Because I'm going to have to add a cripple here and on the other side, I'll need to clear out these cavities of all the cellulose insulation as well. In the next episode, we'll start building a new framing. 